Well, I can't think of any way to better support education in the community than for KCTS and PEMCO to align because we are totally members of the community and supportive of the community. PEMCO Insurance, a Northwest company, is proud to be a longtime supporter of the KCTS Golden Apple Awards that honor Washington's best teachers and programs, some of which are a lot like us, a little different. Three years ago, Tasha Murfin was about to drop out of high school. My dad was going through surgery and, you know, financially it was hard and, I mean, it was just kind of like a wreck. Tasha did what lots of students do at North Central High School in Spokane. She took her problems to the principal. He actually, after school, walked around every class with me, teacher to teacher. Once she was caught up, Principal Stephen Gehring pushed Tasha to take AP and honors classes and to apply for college. He kept bugging her in the halls. If I hadn't got anything done that week or no scholarships filled out or anything, I'd try to hide. She said that? I'm going to lose it. Every time I'd see her in the hall, I would, uh, felt like I wasn't doing enough. He was a big inspiration because I knew I'm going to see him tomorrow in the hall, I'd better get it done. In many high schools, the principal doesn't know students' names unless they're in trouble. At North Central, Gary knows the students and expects them to step up their academic game. When Stephen came, we had all these little courses that we, we used to call them dumping grounds. Now the easy classes are gone, and the hard classes are for everyone. We've um, gone from about 40 kids taking AP advanced placement courses to six, 700 kids taking advanced placement courses. Classes are more rigorous because there's one word on everyone's lips. College? Everybody has a chance to go to college. Don't you have to get staff letters for her class too? North Central is a blue collar neighborhood where going to college is not the norm. Garing is changing that. One application. Why don't you come do your transcript request right now? One study group. Okay, tonight. One counselor. Pursue them even a little harder. One teacher at a time. How many? For the 20 plus years he's been at this school, Randy James has wanted to teach a biotech class with kids doing real life research. The district said no. Gehring said, We're going to do it. And we started our freshman, we registered kids for the freshman biomedical class without permission because he said it was good for kids. Today in Randy James' fully sanctioned class, you'll find students doing unique research, like extracting DNA from really old bison bones. High-level projects like these are a great addition to a college application. That's what Tasha Murfin discovered. Today, she's not a high school dropout. She's a college student. And she says she owes it all to a principal who knows your name. I don't see my life today if I didn't have met, wouldn't have met Mr. Gary. Now I can see my future. I had no idea the cheerleaders were going to be here tonight all the way from across the state, so thanks. <laughs> in the spring of 1993, I had two things in front of me, two acceptance letters. One to medical school and one to a national teaching corps that places people in the most under-resourced schools in the United States. Almost 20 years later, I have the incredible fortune to be part of a staff that's committed to every single kid going to college, that every kid can take the most rigorous classes, and that every kid can achieve their dreams. I get to wake up every single morning investing in kids' lives and changing the next generation and the generation after that. I'm incredibly fortunate. Looking back on that decision 20 years ago, I know I made the right choice. Thank you so much to um, PEMCO and KCTS for recognizing educators. As much as doctors do for our, our community, it's really, truly educators who um, are the most important people in our society. Thank you so much. Thank you.